Hello, this is Glozell. I can do a series on this subject. Okay, uh, I've played the piano since I was two. My mom's a piano teacher, so I've gone to many a wedding and many a funeral. So today I'm going to talk about one in particular ghetto funeral. All right, this was a funeral that was taking place in Georgia. I was kind of young. So we go to this funeral in Georgia. Okay, now then the funeral's supposed to start at two. Okay, I'm sitting at the plan piano playing, a little soft music. Okay, 2, 2.15, 2 2.30. They're black people, and we in Georgia, so I just knew it was going to be late, so whatever. I'm just sitting there playing, da-da-da-da. People start coming in. Okay, there was no body, no casket, n nothing. And this is how we do it that way. I've gone to different funerals. People do things differently, but where I'm from, there's a casket with a body inside, and it's open in the, in the beginning, so you can view. Okay, none of that. So eventually, a uh, funeral home shows up with some program. So there's a program, but there was still no body. And I was just like, this is odd. My finger's getting tired. I'm playing, I'm playing, I'm playing. Now I'm singing. I'm just doing a whole concert. Amazing. You know, I'm just keeping it going. Finally, we end up having the funeral without the guest of honor. Now, I, in my head, I'm like, this is crazy. I, I didn't understand he showed up late for his own funeral, but he didn't show up at all to his funeral. So what had happened was this brother had been married for like 40, 50 years, right? Okay. But the last 30 years, he was living with his girlfriend in a different state. 30 years. Okay. So when he died... <laughs> When he died, whatever money from the government or whatever job he had went to his wife. Whatever retirement, whatever funeral money, whatever, whatever money went to the wife. Now then, so we're sitting at the funeral and the wife is like, I'm not paying for this funeral. I finally got some money. He didn't pay child support. He just left, you know. Now the girlfriend who I, I thought we relate to, but that was the girlfriend. She was like, well... None of the, no, no money came to me. I've been with him for 30 years. I was there when he was sick and I took care of him and blah, blah, blah. And now, now he passed away and I didn't get any money. I can't afford to pay for this funeral. So, uh, how are you trifling in life and trifling in death? Oh, oh my gosh. That was jacked up. So, I don't, even, I don't know what happened to him, to tell you the truth. I, I really don't know. All I know, he wasn't there. We had a funeral without him. So, what would you do? Who's right? The wife or the girlfriend? Like, if you was with somebody for 30 years, the girlfriend was there for 30 years, taking care of it, got nothing. Should she pay for a funeral? Or the wife, who had money for a funeral, but didn't use it for a funeral, for a man that she hadn't seen in 30 years who left her? Traveling. All right, over and out. I can do a whole series on this. Mm-hmm.